Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Shut the door. Oh, they're no good. Arthur. Hello, Maddie. Did you miss me? It's 
something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. Gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. <laughs> I think... We finally lost them. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now, Arthur. <laughs> You and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <laughs> Bye now. Yeah! Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... 
We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, show some compassion. Please. Drowse told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? If you'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. <sighs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <laughs> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Did good with Sean. You wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is rescue folks these days, aren't there? Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. 
I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What are you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Counter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? It's all you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So, what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type, by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds work. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. A 
Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. My good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior. Herbert. You selling something for me? Free. Spinal alignment. But our brains in here, but our souls is in our back. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky. Come, sir. I can fix that for you. Just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey, it's whiskey. Is this causing the problem? You ever meet a sot who didn't hobble in old age? But the English and old. Gin. They drink gin. And what is gin made with? Juniper. And what is the juniper? Creates movement in the spine. Made the brain as it is. It leads to spine brittle. Hence your hobbling jock. Please. Stay down here a little. It won't take long. You done, Arthur? Yep. Covered my tracks so well, they won't even know I was in there. Good work. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Yeah. Damn it, they're on to us. We need to get out of here. us riding out. Uh, I guess I should have tried leaving the back way. Too late now. 
So what were you able to lift from the house? Hey, slow it down. Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So how long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Take it easy, Arthur. Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Get back on the damn road! Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. have Dutch food, but um, I'm watching you. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. When the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in, and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay.
job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. I just wanted to see what attracted them. Dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. Alright. Lead the way. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. So up now. Killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on. Wait up. Shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? <laughs> Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. They make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Please, don't. Kill me. I'm begging you. All right. I'll get it out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. 
and run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to Pochi. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. You happy to have Uncle Sean back? Yeah, I missed him. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> I just wanted to say, I'm sorry about your husband, your home. He was worth a hundred of you thieves and murderers. Fine looking hide you got there. Hey there. What are you doing, Jack? Oh. Hey, Mr. Morgan! Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. But well, where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong, that's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller. Skill Tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. All right. Hello, Arthur. Not you again. Oh, what is it now? 